On today's Accessorize Me segment, Kristen Omdahl is joining us to demonstrate a Mobius capelet that's worked in strips? Yes, it's a tech crochet technique called Bruges Lace. It's mm -hmm. an older technique from Europe and it's a way of joining motifs in strips, or sorry, joining a strip of fabric mm -hmm. with chains along the edge. So each of these chain fives is joined to the chain five oh, on the previous strip. Yeah. Now you could do this with separate strips, but I thought to take it a little, one step further, I thought it'd be fun to join a spiral of mm -hmm. a one long strip to make the Mobius. If you worked evenly in, in a spiral, you could make a cowl or some sort of capelet. Mm -hmm. But then to twist your first strip, you end up making a Mobius like oh, this. That's and fascinating. That's, that's what I was going to show you how to do today. That's wonderful. So this is a, this is a, a swatch for Yes, it. this is a sample of it. Now, obviously, this one isn't long enough to go around your shoulders. Mm -hmm. When you're starting to work on the Mobius, you'd want to make sure it was originally long enough to go around your shoulders mm -hmm. and then start the, the, um, the twist. So what we've done here is I start at the beginning here mm -hmm. by doing a very concentrated increase. Because it's going to be done in a spiral, you don't want a huge step where it starts. Mm -hmm. So in order to have a tapered start, I started with a, a concentrated increase, and then the very end of the strip will be a concentrated decrease. That makes sense. I just want to show everybody mm -hmm. where, that, where that spiral starts on the capelet. Okay, itself. I think it was over here. It's right here, here yes. right? And let's so, just make sure that everybody can see mm -hmm. that. Um, it's really cool how it how it just begins the spiral and then you just keep working around and around. Right, and then what it'll end up being is it ends somewhere probably over here. I don't see it right now. It might but be hidden by the twist. Right, it's hidden in the twist probably. And then from there you start the edging and what's really mm -hmm. cool about doing edging on a Mobius is that you'd think that this is two rounds of edging. Mm -hmm. It starts here, it goes around the right. bottom, twists, goes through the twist, and then does the top all in one continuous piece. Right. Because so that's this could be on one piece of yarn even. Wow, very that cool. whole piece. Yep. So let's take a look at the swatch. This is a really beautiful pattern. Thank you. I really like it because it has that negative space mm -hmm. of a flower. And I've it's a stitch pattern I've used in sweaters, edgings on shawls. But this time I thought it was neat to extrapolate the Bruges lace into a larger strip mm -hmm. using that flower motif. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to do part of the flower right now. And that's this is included in the line by line instructions and on the chart in the pattern. Okay, and the pattern's on the web, so yes. you can crochet mm -hmm. along. Um, so we've started the first row of the lower flower mm -hmm. petal. And to do the next row, we do sideways worked clusters, which is a chain three. Mm -hmm. And then you're working into the top of the double crochet just made, going yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch. So you're not going between, you're actually going into the stitch. Into the stitch. And pull up a loop, uh -huh. but don't finish it because we're doing a cluster. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. So and now so now you fin And then you're going to yarn over, pull through all oh, three. I see. Okay. That finishes your cluster. Okay. We're going to skip the next three double crochets, work a single crochet into that chain three space, mm -hmm. like that. And then notice how that makes the flower oh, yeah, works. Pulls that that makes that right cluster over. sideways so it looks like at the side of a petal. And then we'll double our single crochet into the top of the cluster in the row below. Mm -hmm. We'll single crochet in the next chain three space. And now we're going to make the next sideways uh, cluster. Okay. And this one, you're going to chain three. And you're going to work into the side of the last stitch made. But this one's a single crochet. It's really basically the same. You're just working into the closest space under the top of the V oh, of the I stitch. See. So regardless of the length of the stitch, it's going to be the same mm -hmm. basic location. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two times. Mm -hmm. So you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and then we're going to skip three stitches, which mm -hmm. is the inverse of the beginning of the row, double crochet into the next stitch. And that anchors that cluster down. And double crochet in the next stitch, yes. See? That's and then beautiful. now we've got two sideways worked stitches. And then we're going to do a chain five, which you wouldn't normally do at the end mm -hmm. of a row of uh, working in a flat fabric. But we're doing that because we're going to be using that later on oh. when we join the strip. So that chain five actually forms these loops yes. along mm -hmm. the sides. So we'll do a, we did double crochet in each of the next two stitches, a chain seven, and then we'll come down and work a single crochet into each of those single crochets that we worked in the previous row. So we're back on the, in the center of the flower now. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then a chain seven. Mm -hmm. And then a double crochet into each of the last two stitches, skipping the flowers. And by skipping the flowers, what we've done is given that negative space 
so that you'll be able mm -hmm. to see the flowers when the stitch pattern's done. That's beautiful. Now what you would do when you're making the Mobius is you'll make this strip long enough to fit around mm -hmm. your shoulders to start with. Now if you, and then if you wanted to make it, we're, for the, today we'll just do this sample because mm -hmm. I think you'll get the idea still. If you were just going to make a cowl or a capelet, you would make this the length to go around and then on your chain five, you would join it to the chains on this side mm -hmm. and start working up in a spiral. So you do a chain two. And this is actually, this is joining them. Mm -hmm. So f instead of a chain five, you do a chain two, mm -hmm. slip stitch into the next like that, oh, I and see. then a chain two. Okay, okay? so that just And kinda... then you would turn and finish your row. Mm -hmm. Now to do the Mobius, this one's just a little bit trickier, and it's only tricky on the very first uh -huh. one. Once you get started, it does all the work for you, and it just keeps it in the twist, and you're still working flat as you go. The twist will always just be behind you. Mm -hmm. So uh, we start with the chain two, and I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, because I've gotta actually look at it for a second too. So if you're gonna join it regular, you join it like mm -hmm. that for a spiral. You're gonna turn it like that. Half a twist, you're not Half turning it over and right. then over again. So now, now that it's, and see how it was much easier to lay it flat uh -huh. and do it than Absolutely. to try to figure it out otherwise. Because um, what'll happen is it'll look like a twist and it really isn't twisted at all. Mm -hmm. And Especially I'm, when you have a longer piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And know. I'm speaking from experience <laughs> with that. So. <laughs> so we do the chain two, slip stitch into the loop, Mm -hmm. on the adjacent side, chain two. So that chain two, slip stitch, chain two counts as our chain five, mm -hmm. and then we'll go back and work our next row in the stitch pattern. So you're continuing to work flat on the strip, you're just joining at the end of mm -hmm. every row? Yep. Or at the end of every other row? Yes. To mm -hmm. the row below? To every, every other row, because the outside edge will always be left unworked. Okay. That's fabulous. And then on every other row from that, you leave a chain for to prepare for the next row? Yes. Around and around? Mm -hmm. This is a really great technique. Is Bruges lace typically worked in, in or Bruges? Bruges lace. Bruges lace, so it is a typically a lace kind of technique. It doesn't have to be, it depends on how thick the fabric is, because this, is, this one is not necessarily that lacy. Sometimes mm -hmm. it'll just be like two or three stitches in the strip, mm -hmm. and then like a chain seven or chain nine, so it could actually be a lot lacier than okay. this. And when you're finished with that row, let's just lay it out quick, flat mm -hmm. quickly so everybody can see the twist. Yep, see how, in fact, if we get to the next row here, it'll lay flat, it would twist more, but yes, it'll Very go cool. like this. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. You're welcome.